Cedarville's Chrissy Pratt and Taylor Wilkerson. Uh, congratulations, ladies, on your semifinal win. Um, let's first, Chrissy, it seemed like you guys just got stronger and stronger as this match progressed and you finished off the sweep. Talk about um, uh, the, the style that you guys were able to, to finish this one off in. Yeah. Talk about how we finished finish strong. Yeah, um, I think the more the game went on, went on just the, um, the harder we realized we had to fight. Malone came out and they were doing just a really awesome job, which I mean, we expected, but we realized we had to fight and dig deep for every point. And so I think that's what we eventually did. And we rode our, like each other's momentum, each other's energy, and it ended up well. <laughs> Taylor, uh, this group has seven all-conference team members. You were the freshman of the year last year. Uh, Talk about how special the composition is of, of this year's team. Um, I mean, it goes without saying that you guys are close, but uh, it seems like you guys. Yeah, um, this team is probably the closest team I've ever been on, like in my whole career, um, and that's really special because that's all kind of God and just the way He brought this team together, and um, the fact that we do have so many returners and uh, the experience is just really awesome, and uh, we just love each other well uh, because we love God well. So it's awesome. Chrissy, how you guys as a group handled last year's outcome really speaks volumes about your character, but what steps did you guys take as a group to move forward and put that behind you guys? Yeah, I mean, that was definitely very difficult last year. Trebacca played an awesome game and they killed it, and they earned that win, but um, it made us realize how we have to work hard every second of every day, and you know, like if we put in our best effort and we put in our hardest work and we love each other well, like um, Taylor said, like we leave the results up to God, and right now, um, tonight we won because we just put in that hard effort, and like we said, like Taylor said, we all play for God, we love each other well because we love God, and that's kind of the mentality we've had this past year. Taylor, what was the vibe like in this morning's practice? You guys have to sit in the bleachers for three matches, kind of doing scouting and before you can really take the court. Yeah, I, um, I woke up wanting to play like when we had practice. Um, <laughs> so I think we were all really excited to play, a lot different from last year, different mentality. Um, had a plan going in and was where we were going to follow it. Um, yeah, so we stayed focused throughout the day. Like we would go and watch scouting videos and then we'd go back to the hotel, chill a little and like pick it up again. Um, so yeah, just staying focused is one of our goals and we did that really well today. Chrissy, you had five service aces. Um, I, I mean, I'll compare it to a baseball tournament. It's like a bowling ball sinker when, <laughs> when you're on top of it. Talk about, um, you know, how that puts the defense out of position to help you guys get your offense going. Yeah, um, I mean, I started working on that toss and serve um, at the end of my freshman year, and it was really just um, my coach had told me because top spin is kind of difficult because if it's not a very good, um, if it's not a very good one, it's a really easy ball to pass. And so my coach told me, he said, "I'll let you do it, but you have to never give up on it." And so I thought that was really awesome for my coach, and I never did. And um, it's really just so that they can be out of system because if it's hard enough, it'll be really difficult for them to pass, which will make it easier on my offense, which is ultimately. The goal. <laughs> and then Taylor, you guys are regionally ranked, but um, you know already with three conference titles, what would making the national tournament be for you guys as a program? Um, as a program, it would be awesome. It'd be the first <laughs> one in history. Um, it'd be cool to have this team that loves each other that well to um, be able to do that. Um, but for mostly, it would get our team and our um, our school on a platform that we've never been on before in the volleyball scene. Um, yeah, we can. We're just able to go out and show what Cedarville is made of um, and who we play for. So that's our goal in that. Ladies, thanks for your time. Good luck in tomorrow's final. Thank you very much.